Hello and welcome to the show. Um, this is a redo video because um, we uh, we got some additional information, so uh, that changed some numbers around, and uh, we need we needed to do a quick update. This will be a very short uh, short video. Let me start off by saying I'm not a financial advisor. This is not financial advice, and this information is intended for entertainment and educational purposes only. So, a uh, shout out to Stephen Cooper. Thank you for bringing this to my attention. Uh, he asked, is there a reason at the beginning of the video that uh, I said based on George Palacaris' tweet, there were about 165 million MMTLP shares, but during your calculations, I used 175 million. Here's a tweet that is 165 million shares. And the answer to that is, you're right. That's a mistake. I should be dividing by 165 million. And that would make the numbers slightly bigger. And, uh, Stephen agrees. <laughs> so uh, yeah, so let's uh, so so uh, thanks, Stephen. Uh, we will we will be doing that. So that's the first part. And we're going to do this uh, correction based on uh, some computations. Uh, so we'll update the computation. I'm oh, sorry. We'll do the we'll recompute based upon uh, the uh, slightly more accurate numbers. And we got some additional information from a company called Nextbridge Hydrocarbons, potentially. And they seem to think that there's 3.2 billion barrels of oil, so uh, I'll explain why they have a high degree of credibility here and why we might want to use their numbers, okay? So earlier t today, we saw this uh, Nextbridge Hydrocarbons website uh, come online with uh, a guy called Clifton DeVos Jr., and uh, we see that he uh, he was a founder and CEO of Masterson Partners. We, sh we should know the name Masterson. It should, it's clearly from... It, it has a, a familiar ring to it, right? It uh, sounds like the Rich Masterson from, uh, from the uh, Or Grande project. So uh, if we look at it, uh, they actually uh, are located in Texas. They're in the, uh, they're in the downtown Austin area. Not only that, they talk about something called the Oro Grande Project, and that should sound very familiar to everyone. Then they have another website where uh, they have another part of their website where they talk about 134,000 net acres. That should also be a very familiar number. It's not just a, the same name, Oro Grande, it also has the same numbers, 134,000 acres. But interestingly enough, they say that there's 3.2 billion barrels of a potential resource recovery here, not 3.7. They say 3.2. So that's uh, it's very close to 3.7, by the way, but it's 3.2 is what they're saying. Uh, here's a picture of Clifton DeBose, Clifton De and uh, we see that he's a JD. It basically means he's a lawyer. He knows, uh, he knows law. And uh, yeah. And if we look, uh, we hear about, uh, if, if we look at the other stuff that we know about Aragonde, we know that uh, Greg McCabe and Rich Masterson were working together, and uh, they found 134,000 acres, again, in the Aragonde Basin. They all know each other, so it's quite interesting. Chances are they'll be working together in the future or are working together now in secret, we don't know. Interestingly enough, Valor Mineral Management is located in the same exact building and the same exact suite in Fort Worth, Texas. So uh, uh, the building's the same, the zip code's the same, and the suite's the same. It's the same place. <laughs> Could Hutspeth Operating LLC have turned into Valor Mineral Management? Mm -hmm. You never know. Anyway, so I'm thinking these guys are the same people. So if they're the same people working on the same project, they know what's going on. Um, they're probably the management company that's um, that's being used by Meta Materials uh, to take care of the property, to, to do the drilling, uh, to do the updated drilling. Is what I'm saying. Um, they're also they may be involved in the oil field spin out if there's a spin out. You don't know. Uh, certainly, they know their stuff about. Uh, about what's going on in the Oro Grande Basin, I think. McCabe was Torchlight's chairman, of course. Masterson is the chief geologist for the Oro Grande project. They're both very big names. Hudspeth and Valor Minerals are in the same building. Everything looks to be very, very um, 
these guys look to know everything that's going on, right? They're probably the guys drilling. They know what's going on. And if they say 3.2 billion, it's likely to be 3.2 billion dollars. And what's even more interesting is that later on in the day, their website was protected with a password. So you won't be able to see all this stuff. So why are we able to see all this stuff? It's because uh, thanks to user here for knowledge too, and he posted this all this information on the RMMAT website of a uh, uh, subgroup of Reddit, right? So you go to reddit.com, you go to the RMMAT um, uh, uh, subgroup in that community, and uh, eventually you'll see uh, you'll see this post about Valor, Nextbridge, Greg McCabe, and the Grande project. Uh, he says something's going on here, and uh, thanks thanks to user here for knowledge too. Okay. Uh, in general, it's a good idea to check out the RMMAT website. There are 18.3 uh, 3,000 view uh, users in this uh, in in this website. They're all well. A lot of them are checking out what's going on with metamaterials, what's going on with Oro Grande, what's going on. Um, with George Palacaros, what's going on on with dividends? They all, you know, they they keep an eye on things. You know, when you got eighteen eighteen thousand three hundred people with an eye on something, chances are, if anything looks odd or if anything looks new or in, or or anything looks to be something that you should be paying attention to, they'll catch it. So, uh, so yeah, so this is the power of having a lot of people looking at the same thing. So uh, yeah, check it out. So I need to update my um, my numbers with 3.2 billion barrels of oil is what I'm thinking. Right? So here are the, are the original numbers that we uh, had had done the computation with. I won't go over, over the computation itself. Um, you can check out the previous video for how this computation works. All we're going to do right now is we're going to update um, the number of shares from 175 million. To 164 million or 165 million, right? As you can see, the dividend goes up slightly. Here's the uh, here's the previous value with 175 million, and the dividend is 42 dollars and 89 cents, with the price of oil being 75 dollars, uh, and it jumps up to 45 dollars and 51 cents at a 75 dollar uh, per barrel oil price, right? Um, so there you go. Uh, so the numbers go up slightly there with 165 million shares. Okay. Uh, we need to do one final update with 3.2 billion barrels of oil versus 3.7 billion barrels of oil. That will cause the numbers to go down slightly. Fair enough. We put in 3.2 billion barrels. We now get the dividend in terms of uh, going down slightly to $39.36 at the $75 uh, oil price. So again, let's go back to uh, to 3.7 billion barrels. We see that we've got 45 dollars, and we've got the 3.2 billion barrels. It brings it down to about 39 dollars and 36 cents. Okay. So that's the price of oil going from 75 dollars all the way up to 120. We can do the same thing looking at the price of oil from 30 dollars to 75 dollars. Right. So this is the original calculations. We put in 164 million shares, and we see that the dividend goes up slightly, going at $4.25, all the way up to $45 for $75 per barrel. At $30 per barrel of oil, uh, we're not getting much in terms of dividend, we're getting $4.55. Again, this is a slightly better than with 165 million uh, uh, share calculation. So uh, here's 175 million share calculation, which is incorrect. There's the updated numbers, which are the correct numbers there. And finally, we need to update these numbers again one more time with the 3.2 billion barrels of oil. And the numbers go down slightly. We go anywhere from $3.94 at $30 per barrel of oil <coughs> up to uh, $39.36 at $75 per barrel, of oil, per barrel of oil. So uh, I know you love to look at numbers, but uh, to make things easier, we can put all the numbers into a nice chart. The charts 
I tend to look I tend to like charts a little bit more. They're prettier and they're easier to understand. But they do hide all the calculation. So if you wanted to see the calculation before, that's that's the whole reason I showed um, what the calculations look like. You can double check them if you like. Uh, but anyway, so in green we see the 3.7 billion barrels of oil, and we see that the numbers for the dividend are slightly higher than the 3.2 billion barrels of oil, which is in yellow. Right? They're almost the same. They're pretty close, actually. But they're, they, you know, when you've got a little bit less oil, you get a little, a little bit less dividend. So I'm likely to go with the 3.2 billion barrels of oil because since these are the same guys who had originally explored the Oro Grande area, they came up with the original number of 3.7 billion barrels. I'm thinking they changed their estimate to 3.2 billion barrels because likely these are the same guys who have done the updated drilling and updated analysis. And so as a result, I'm, I'm likely to think that 3.2 billion barrels is is, is what um, is what the latest figures are, right? Again, uh, you know, of course, none of this, this is all speculation, right? This is all, I mean, none of this is official in any way, shape, or form. And not only that, I'm thinking that if they are going to do a dividend in early Q, Q1 of 2022, the deal has already been done. If the deal's already been done, then we're probably looking at the price of oil between being between seventy to eighty dollars per barrel. And if that's the case, we're looking at a dividend of between thirty-five to forty-three dollars. Uh, maybe it'll, you know, maybe it'll go as high as the eighty-five dollar per barrel of oil because there was a, a short period of time where oil uh, oil hit about eighty-three dollars or so. So maybe it could go up to 47, but mostly it'll probably be in the 35 to 43 range with a possible upside to a $47 range, right? So that's what I'm thinking right now for the, for the dividend. Um, there is still the possibility of a spin-out. Um, I'm not saying that a spin-out is unlikely or likely. I'm not saying either one. This is just the calculation for the dividend if there is a dividend. And uh, that's the end of this video. With that, I'd like to just state that, again, I'm not a financial advisor. This is not financial advice. This information is intended for entertainment and educational purposes only. And with that, good night and goodbye.